Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. In today's video, we're going to be talking about your ugly Jeep ZJ door trim and how it got so ugly. Uh, we're also going to be talking about a few ways you can fix them, but ultimately we're going to be showing you how to replace them. So let's take a closer look. All right, guys, we are in the General Grievous ZJ and we're going to get a good look at these door panels. Ooh, actually there's blue. We got a good look at her. Hey, she's looking really good. I just put on her original headlights. I polished them all up. I'm done with the one piece. So, all right, back to the ZJ. So here we are. The number one reason for the demise of these seat panels in the ZJ is the sun. The yellow one is the sun. The sun just roasts and cooks these door panels all along here and you get your classic fading due to the UV rays. If you see back here, the rear door panels are in good shape because these are tinted. The front windows, they don't come tinted, so they have no protection. Um, if you tint your windows, you're more likely to preserve the interior of your car, but since uh, these aren't, these are shot. So let me show you a couple ways you can make these look a little better instead of the ugly white faded stuff. Uh, all right, let's do it. All right, so here we are, we're looking at the top of our Jeep door panel. It's nice and faded, and there's a ton of products out there. Uh, I'm not gonna name names, but they could make your trim go back to black. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, this, you know, it doesn't really help. It's, it's very temporary. Uh, it makes it look better, but as soon as the uh, product dries off, it will uh, return to its faded condition. Now this does help for a quick detail, you know, for that one nice date you want to go out, make your car look like you're uh, not a total slob, <laughs> it will do a quick temporary job, but uh, you know, this isn't the, uh, this isn't the remedy for me. Um, there is a great product out there, you guys go check out JTM Off-Road, he did his fender flares of his YJ, and they came out really good, but as you can see right here, after a couple minutes with this product, it's going back to faded. So, this stuff, this isn't for me. Let me show you another cool trick though. All right, another solution which is a little bit more permanent is uh, applying heat. Got the old Wagner heat gun. We're just gonna roast this up with the uh, heat gun. So let's go see how this works when applying heat. All right, there you go, guys. You can clearly see the difference between the heated portion and the not heated portion. There's a distinct line where I stopped. Uh, again, faded, and this looks really nice. This is like almost back to original. Uh, so what's going on here is, I guess plastic, it's a petroleum product. Uh, you heat it up and it actually gets melty and the juices inside mix with the juices on the top and it brings up some of the uh, good inside juices and therefore it covers the uh, the faded part of the plastic. Now that's not the scientific reason, uh, <laughs> clearly, but uh, I guess that's what's going on inside there. So uh, yeah, over here, we don't have any of the inside juices shining on the top. So uh, okay, this solution is really good, especially paired with some of that product, but again, this is still only temporary. It's not a great permanent fix, uh, but it will last a lot longer. But again, when your stuff is exposed to the elements, you will have fading again. Uh, how I know is because I did this when I first got this ZJ uh, back maybe like six months ago. I did the whole melty job and got it looking nice, but again, it returned back to its faded color. Uh, let me just show you this heat gun trick on some XJ products. We'll see how that does. All right, check this out. This is a bumper end for a Jeep Cherokee. It's got that same plastic that just is totally ugly faded. Let's take care of it with some heat. <laughs> check that out, guys. That's just dandy. Nice and black. Again, you could use some product on this after it's been heated. And um, <laughs> it's all good. So, all right, back to the ZJ. All right, guys, now the last thing you could do to get rid of this faded stuff is scrape it off. Now, this is the most aggressive step, and uh, really, once you start doing this, there's no going back. I've done it over here, and you can see once you scrape it, you lose a lot of that textured appearance. So, you just grab your razor blade, and 
You just do that. You scrape it. And this will permanently get rid of that top layer that is just awfully faded. It's dead. It's dead plastic. So, yeah. Underneath it, you will expose some pretty nice looking plastic. And again, once you scrape it, you could always go over it with the heat gun and that would, you know, kind of melt it flat, I guess. And then after you melt it flat, then you could always use some more product. So, yeah, three different layers of fixings. Ugh, this makes a mess. Yeah, I don't feel like making any more mess. All right, guys, so all those remedies are a temporary fix to the ugly door panels up here, all the faded part up here on the, the plastic. It does nothing for these cracked up elbow pads. Um, all those miles of dropping bows on these panels uh, really takes a toll, obviously. There's so many ZJs out there that have this issue. I wanted to fix this with a patch panel. Um, I still might show you how to fix it for you guys that are able to find a patch panel. I'm supposed to be getting that scrap ZJ from Kevin, and uh, we'll see if we can melt out this portion and then re-plastic weld it back in with some new fabric. That's another video. This video, we're replacing the whole thing. Let me show you what I got. I've been dying to do this for so long. I'm finally able to check this out. There we go, guys. A whole set of new door panels. And we got the memory pod for the memory seats and the memory mirrors. And they're 5.9 ZJ panels. So this is awesome. Let's uh, take these out and we'll get them in. Alright guys, so for these panels, I'm going to give these a once over. Now there's really not much to do with the panels. Uh, when you buy them, you're going to want to see if they come with all these little uh, Christmas tree fasteners. Uh, if you don't have them, you're going to want to make sure you have a set that is not broken. Uh, the ones that are missing or broken from this, I'm going to go ahead and use the ones, hopefully, that are already on the ZJ. So between my two sets, uh, hopefully I'll have enough Christmas trees. Um, so, you know, the ones like these that are smashed, <laughs> it won't be a problem. You ain't gonna find no better tree than this here tree. This here tree is built to last. So while I'm on this side in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply some adhesive spray to this, uh, so this doesn't peel off. This insulation is just hanging on by a thread, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. And also when you get yourself another door panel, you're gonna to wanna to look for the control uh, mounts. Um, all these screws mount into these little plastic pieces and you're not gonna to wanna to get one that has broken plastic pieces because then you won't be able to mount your controls. So uh, this one has them all, everything's looking good. Um, it has all these little um, plastic covers to hide the screw holes, so these are good to have. Um, again, it's got one here and another one here, so don't lose these. Um, the speaker grill looks very nice, and the uh, mat pocket has still got its spring to it, so looking good. And of course, it's got no damage on the elbow pads. And one other thing I wanted to show you was the courtesy light. Uh, this actually has bulbs. Now, I'm not sure if this is a 5.9 feature only, or maybe all the limiteds have it. But there are bulbs in here, and you're going to want to make sure your bulbs work. So we're going to go ahead and test these in a minute. Uh, for now, I'm just going to spray down this with adhesive spray, and then uh, we'll wipe everything down and clean it up. Here we go, guys. going to use this uh, 3M Super 77. This is great for my interior work. I use it on everything. Uh, it's the best stuff on earth. <laughs> I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice, healthy coat under here, and we'll get this... Uh, Nice and adhered. Now you're supposed to let it tack up before you attach your thing <laughs> or whatever you're gluing to the glue. Um, yeah. Just gonna lay that down, it should be all right. Yeah, that stuff sticks right away. All right guys, here is the driver's door panel, and this is great because it's got the memory seat functions and memory mirror. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a video on the memory functions also, so uh, stay tuned for that. For now, we're just gonna put on this panel. Um, it has 
the wires already hooked up for it. It just goes right into this uh, control panel here. So you got your memory button pod plugging right in there. And again, easy peasy stuff, guys. Now there was one small problem. Um, these little tips, uh, <laughs> this was a little bit bent in transport. So I'm gonna try to take the heat gun and just uh, melt this straight again. There we go guys, that looks much better. All right, I'm gonna go wipe this one down. All right, everything's looking good. Just gonna give it a once over with my favorite stuff, the Chemical Guys High Shine. Stuff is the best. Spray it on, wipe it in. All right guys, here we go. Time to take off the door panel. Just gonna use a Phillips head on the driver and a little flat head to pry off my little tabs in here. So we're gonna pop this off nice and gently. Pop this off up here. Whoa, that shot out. Cool. And where's the other one? One's down here. And uh, we're gonna just pocket these until it's time to reinstall. Um, and there's a screw behind here. Screw here. Uh, screw down here. And a screw in here. And once those four screws are out, I do believe you just give this a little tug out and upward. There we go. Pops right off. Ooh, this is gross in here. And we're just gonna unplug this right here to disconnect the door, your door controls. Oops. I'll put it on your side for you. Oh, that is a shame. <laughs> oh well. Now before you put your new door panel back on, it would be a great idea to clean all this up. This is uh, this moisture barrier, vapor barrier, weather stripping, whatever you wanna call it. This is in bad shape. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this right now. Ugh. I'm gonna replace it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is coat everything nice and neat. Start getting it on the door handle with my 3M adhesive spray. And I'm just gonna follow the outline that's already there. Adhesive spray, adhesive spray, adhesive spray. Here's a good trick, a shower curtain. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna stick this shower curtain right on the door. Can't beat this, this is like, I don't know, five bucks. You get the cheap ones and <laughs> it makes a great barrier. Obviously, because it's a shower curtain liner. <laughs> it prevents water from leaving the shower. Uh, I should have opened this up. I'll let it, uh, let it unfold. All right, here we go. There we go, and plenty left over for another door. All right, awesome. All right guys, here we go, moving on to the passenger side door panel. Now this is very important to know. When you remove your door panel, you have to go ahead and reuse your window controls because if you remove your window controls and you put in the junkyard window controls that came on the junkyard door panel, you'll lose the functionality of your key fob. For some reason, Jeep decided to put the key fob functionality into the passenger side. So go ahead and use your window controls, retain your key fob function, and there will be no problem. 
but this is also a good idea if you don't have a key fob you can go ahead and go online get yourself the passenger controls and the key fobs and you can go activate yourself your key fob so if you don't have it now's the time to get it and if you do have it make sure you reuse it so here we go let's take this door panel apart All right guys, and now that this door panel is off, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color in that lock indicator just to match the driver door that I did. And it's also gonna match the shifter indicator that I restored. So you can go ahead and check out that video. That's gonna be in my trim video when I restore all the 5.9 ZJ trim. And yeah. This is kind of running low on ink, but it's better than faded white. So that's nice and restored. All right, let's go ahead and get this new door panel on. All right guys, so here we have our old door panel. Here we have our new door panel. Now we want to swap over the window controls to regain our key fob ability. Well, <laughs> I guess I have no choice because this one didn't come with one, but yes, we're gonna go ahead and swap this over right now. And this is, I believe, a T20 Torx. That will get the job done. Got it. All right, now you're just gonna wanna go over all your little fasteners. Make sure they are not smashed up, like this one. And if they are, just pop it off and swap it with a good one from your old door panel. Okay guys, and just like the driver door, we're gonna go ahead and remake our connections. Gonna go ahead and put on the window controls, or the door controls first. So that's always the biggest and that's in the way. There we go, and then we're gonna move up to the top. Sorry you can't see this. It's a tight squeeze, but there we go. So that's great. And we're gonna attach our door panel. There we go, up and over the door lock door lever. I'm going to rest it right on this channel. That over. I'm going to slide everything over where it needs to be. And some are already clicking in, in place. Now it's very important to line up all your fasteners before you go ahead and punch this thing on will avoid breaking your fasteners. Nice and easy. Take your time. Get our screws in. There you go, top down. And now time for the caps. And this thing, <laughs> cover, cool, popped right on. 
All right, guys, time to do the back two door panels. So we're gonna do it just like we did the front two door panels. Uh, nothing different to see here. So like always, we're gonna fast forward you through it and I'll see you when it's done. guys that is all four door panels switched out sweet all right guys we got our door panels on they're looking great and what you're gonna want to do next is just test to make sure your windows work want to make sure everything you plugged in works or doesn't work and <laughs> this way you can fix it so windows work here door locks work there here we go windows work here and coming around Da, 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 da. Window. And we're gonna check the master switch now. So windows work. Uh, auto window works. That's great. <laughs> uh, passenger, yep. And rear two. Great. Uh, also gonna want to test your mirror make sure your mirror function works so uh let's see if we can see this let's just change it yep i hear it going going to the presets uh, make sure your set button works there we go it's already back to position one so set position one very good and you're going to want to check your window locks and your door locks here and there you can see my new nicely colored red indicator and it matches my shifter indicator. All right, guys, these door panels are looking great. Everything is functioning properly as expected, and I'm really happy. I love the way it looks. I love the way it functions. Uh, there's just one more thing we have to do before we close this video out. Now, I regret to inform you that I could not activate this courtesy light. I was expecting this Laredo to have a wire harness run in here that was a blank, and I was expecting to just plug in this connector and uh, have it be plug and play. Uh, this is not the case this time. Uh, I guess Laredos aren't compatible with limiteds in that aspect, or maybe they are, maybe it's just a 5.9 thing, I'm not sure. Uh, this is just a Laredo, and I don't have a limited, so I wouldn't know. Uh, but either way, I couldn't get this on. Um, I guess I could run a wire, but I uh, wasn't going to do it this time. So I'm going to take out my screwdriver, and I'm just going to pop out that. Come on, baby. There we go. All right, we got the pot out, and in its place, we're going to put the Laredo reflector. Say that five times fast. <laughs> That'll get you. There we go. All right, passenger side time. Cool. There we go. All right, and I'm sorry guys, I could not get these to work. I know once I said I was putting in the limited door panels, you guys were like, hey, I can't wait to see you connect the courtesy lights for those panels, but <laughs> I failed you. Uh, if you guys want these uh, pods, uh, I can list them for you for sale. Um, I will not be using them. All right guys, that's a wrap for my door panel swap video. I love the way this came out. The 5.9 limited panels are amazing with this nice piece of trim up here. And we also have this nice leather. Uh, we also upgraded to the memory pods for the seat and for the mirrors. Stay tuned for a video coming up soon where I'm gonna show you how to activate that memory feature. And uh, yeah, man, this came out great. I love it. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, go check the description for ways to get Project Dan H stickers. And that's it, guys. I'll see you on the next project. Peace.